what is going on guys welcome back to another american truck simulator video on the channel today we're going to be in the international 9400 eagle i i believe it's what it's called nice little cab over truck um cab overs are one of my favorite trucks out there and i absolutely love 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 this international i'm so glad it actually works for zero or uh, 1.34 i believe that's what we're on for ats but check it out guys the truck looks nice hauling a custom uh private trailer today um, it's going to be a bland trailer, nothing really too fancy on it. No wording, no nothing, just a white, plain white, uh, oh, what is it, a Great Dane? Uh, Smitty, I don't even know. Could be, could be, could be, I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, that's what we're going to be rolling with today. It's a nice little truck, kind of have a little gray theme with the uh, green and black, kind of like stripes and, stripes and stars on it. It looks nice, I like the look of it. Let's take a look at the interior here really quickly. Check it out. It's like an older style um, interior. Got a GPS CB up there. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much that. Check it out. We also have a sleeper back here as well, which is nice. Very, very nice. Got a GPS. Oh, yep. I already said that. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Let's go ahead and listen to this baby start up. Levi I threw a 510, uh, 510 in this... Uh, truck i don't know if i recall correctly it's been a few days since i uh threw it in here but we're all loaded up we're actually going to be hauling 33,515 pounds of furniture from wall or from fedex here in lakeview to pendleton walmart so it's going to be a fun time it's going to be a very 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 fun time um what we're going to do is we're going to try to check the truck here real quick make sure everything is working properly all lights are on perfect perfect and perfect all right let's do a tug test here let's make sure that's working i believe it's this is the key for it uh let's do low oh, the park brakes on oh yep awesome 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 all right so we're gonna get on out of uh here make our trip to up north to pendleton and uh yeah hope you guys are having an awesome uh, friday today i know i am i'm off tomorrow which is very very nice um working i think yeah five days a week one day off back to six days and then one day off which is it's not the terrible thing in the world but it does suck a lot let's go ahead and remove that the only thing i hate about the truck is that the gps is literally right up there so it's kind of hard to see half the time when you're not in the right camera view we're making a left out of here I say hopefully these things turn open for us. Don't need no more job offers. We're gonna go after this ambo. Yeah, we're gonna go after this ambo. I'm not waiting here. Fuck it. Finally, I had decided to do a little daytime run. I know most of the time I'm doing like nighttime runs, so finally, I ended up napping so much that I could finally do a, a daytime run with this uh in this video, which is nice because I've. I like doing the daytime runs, don't get me wrong, I like the nighttime ones as well, but daytime ones are a lot more fun for me, and dude, you almost fucking hit me, dude, what the hell? I think we're going on the uh, 395, which I believe is this road, yeah, this is 395, this is 395, I got some balloons back there, so we got a little party going on over there, that's awesome, party, garage sale, pool party, something, 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 something. I don't know. I do not know. Don't go, truck. Do not go. Okay, cool. Ooh, I was like, dude, you better not go, dude. Oh. Right off the bat, we get a speeding offense. Son of a bitch. Oh, I'd rather have that than an accident right off the bat, so I think we're doing pretty well. I believe we're doing pretty, pretty well. I think we are good on fuel. Uh... I don't actually think this truck even has a fuel gauge. Oh yeah, those are right down there. I see it now. It's just covered up by the steering wheel. But yeah, when I first driving this truck, like do a test drive with it and everything, I did not even see a fuel gauge, and now it's, I finally see it underneath that uh, steering wheel. We got a motorcycle officer on a uh, traffic stop over there. Doug, like we're going straight. Yeah, we are going straight. Speed limit 65. We're gonna take the baby up to uh, 65 miles an hour. Like I said, we're hauling about 30. Or 35 30 about 33 and a half pounds 
thousand pounds of furniture to Walmart. God knows what they need that much furniture for. You'd think that'd go to a furniture store. But I'm not complaining. It's paying my paycheck, paying my bills, so I'm not complaining. Coming up to about 65 here, so I'm going to set cruise control at 63. Awesome, awesome, awesome. But yeah, guys, hope you guys are having an awesome, awesome Friday. Hope you guys have an awesome weekend. Hope you guys are having an awesome uh, week so far. I know this week I was actually having to play uh, manager, store manager, since uh, my actual store manager, I had to go to some training up in Chicago for uh, three days from Tuesday to Thursday. So I was legit the man for three days, which was kind of nice. It was, I gotta admit, it was kind of nice. wasn't too stressful like I picked, like I imagined it, but you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. I mean, it was a fun time. I mean, it's easy. It's probably one of, like, the easiest jobs ever, honestly, being an assistant manager. At, like, not really, like, a, I want to say a giant chain retail store, because I've never actually done that, but, like, a small-town dollar store. It's not even the worst thing in the world. Like, it's simple. Um did have HR from like corporate come in and we also had our district manager come in all on the same day so it was kind of fun kind of fun uh, at least they didn't like uh, bash or anything like they normally come and do but they actually gave us some good reviews which was nice um, and we had some like insurance guy come in saying that we had wind or like saying there was some damage on the roof from like high wind that we had a few weeks ago and that he had a claim for it which they didn't even have any paperwork for it, so I asked the dude, I'm like, how does that work? And then he had a roofer come out, and they said they found nothing, so I'm like, this doesn't make any fucking sense. And that was all on the first day, but then Wednesday, Thursday, we were just kind of chill. Like, nothing really happened, nothing bad. And truck came, we unloaded, we worked the truck, all that, but other than that, it was a pretty, pretty, pretty solid three days. He does come back today. I do close tonight, so trying to record this at 8.30 in the morning before I actually go in at 3, get it all uploaded and edited and whatnot, so, be a fun time, be a fun time, man, there's so many damn curves on this fucking road, good lord, I can imagine just driving a truck up and down from Pendleton to Lakeview every day, be, be a hell of a time, be a very hell, be a very hell of a time, but yeah guys, um, I had a little issues with my ATS for the past couple weeks, which is why you didn't see any ATS episodes, even though I had like four of them planned. Um, for some reason, whenever the new uh, update came through, my uh, profile got corrupt. So I was like, okay, because like, I had the mods in, it crashed, so I'm like, okay, something's not compatible. So I took all the mods out, still crashed, even with like a, a base vanilla game. So I'm like, okay, this doesn't add up so I changed out the betas took out the beta same thing so I went and chose a different profile like the default profile and it worked and then I um, went back to my main profile it still crashed so I uh, luckily I had a backup of my profile that I'm using right now Actually, I had about three backups. The first one I went through, threw in, I had explored none of Oregon. So I was like, shit, I can't do this. I need to have all of Oregon explored. Or uh, all the Oregon that I had explored, I need to have that. So I was like, shit. And then I finally found a second backup that had it, whatever, however I had it before the update. So I'm like, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. So that's what we're on right now is on a backup profile. I might have lost some money. Uh, some of the miles traveled might be off from the last episode, but it's all good. It's all good. We're reducing speed up here, apparently, to a 45. I'll be going. We're coming up to a stop sign. Looks like we're making a right-hand turn. Um, I do have a pizza in the oven, so I'm going to go check on that, and once we stop here, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. I'm making a right-hand turn here towards Burns, which we've been in Burns quite a while. 
or quite a few times. I don't say quite a while. We've been in burns quite a few times. Since majority of the runs I did were from Ben to Burns to try to get that logging trailer, which I still have to freaking do. I always, always, always forget about that. About the logging trailer. But yeah, guys, that was kind of a scare for me whenever my profile or my game kept crashing was just like a right regular vanilla game. And I like did everything I possibly could. Like I verified game cache. I opted out of the beta. I switched to a different version of the game. It would still crash. So I was like having a mini heart attack. Like, oh, fuck. I don't want to start ATO. Hi. What the fuck are you doing, bud? I understand you're a trooper, but good god, what the fuck? I think he was trying to pass me, and then he just completely fucked up, and then next thing you know, he sees the semi there. Luckily, he saw that semi, or he would have been toast. Ouch. Reduce speed ahead. Okay, we're already going 45 miles an hour, so what the hell could we possibly be reducing to? 35? Drink, drive, lose. Alright, entering burns. That was fast. That was, that was really fast. 35. But yeah, like I was saying, I was having a mini heart attack because I thought I would have to like redo my whole ATS, restart the whole damn thing. Because I hadn't realized that ATS actually makes backups of your profile, which is very, very nice that they do that. So I was like panicking. I was like, no, I don't want to restart this whole thing. I don't want to deal with the default trucks and not have my own truck and shit. So I'm like, fuck, what do I do now? Luckily, I went into the ATS folder in my documents and saw that there was a backup. So I'm like, oh, thank God. So here we are back in America Truck Simulator. Hope you guys are enjoying the episode. Hit that like button if you haven't already. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. What the fuck you doing, dude? Okay. Whew. I hate when people do that. Like, they go on the left lane. Like, the freaking anxiety just comes in because you think you're going to hit them, but they're really just going in that other lane. Whew, I hate that shit. Okay, looks like I have to go into this lane. Oh, we can make it? Yeah, we'll make it. There's a Walmart, but I think the Walmart we're going to. Looks like it's right over here. Yeah. But yeah, guys, like I was saying, if you are enjoying this episode, hit that like button. Drop a comment. Oh, God. Okay, hi. This is going to be fucking fun. There's no stop sign there, and there's no stop sign there. And we're holding up traffic. I'm going to go after this dude. Oh, okay, he's turning. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we're gonna be back in that left. Oh God, how are you doing? Nope, nope, we ain't changing lanes yet. Nope. Okay, well we kind of have to because that lane's ending. Shit. Go, 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 dipshit, go. Go, you dipshit. Jesus Christ. I think he was letting me go. I was letting him go because I know he doesn't want to be stuck behind a semi the entire time. Jesus, people driving and people driving in this game is fucking retarded. I mean, it's better than GTA, but still, good God. We'll make a left over here as well, heading towards Pendleton. Ha ha! I get the missed away. Stash. Chin. Jesus Christ, dude. You wanna, like, fucking take your turn more fucking wider than you, than you should? Good God, dude. Yeah, we have a very weak-ass horn on this truck. Jesus Christ. I'm pretty sure he was at fault at that one because I was trying to make my left-hand turn. He was trying to make a right-hand turn. He had a stop sign. He didn't stop. That dude had a stop sign, yet he didn't even stop. So that's technically not my fault. That's all hit. That's all on him. Finally, an accident that's not my fault in this game. Woohoo! 
moving up in the world. <laughs> oh man, I'm trying to have at least one episode without a freaking collision, but maybe one day. Maybe, maybe, maybe one day. Yeah, we're kind of struggling going up this uh, hill. Oh look, it's an ADM plant. Don't have many of those in Illinois. You can hear the truck struggling. Good lord. There we go. That sounds a lot better. Sounds so much better, actually. But, um... I know I keep saying this in a lot of episodes, but streaming... I am, like, legit trying to, but it's just not working out the way I plan. So that's why I don't promise anything with streams-wise. I just talk about it, but I don't really promise it. I just say, like, hey, I'm gonna start, but I don't actually, like, promise it. I say it's possibly gonna happen, it's possibly not with me. Just every time I try to do a stream, it's just something always happens. Like, YouTube doesn't want to cooperate, or I'm not feeling, I'm feeling like crap and I can't do it. Or... I'm just too damn tired and worn out from work that it just doesn't happen, so it's just... That's why I hardly ever stream. Is because of those reasons. Um, to me, it's a lot easier recording and then editing, because I can do that like on my own time. There's no audience that like will see me tired and whatnot. And I could just edit it whenever I uh, feel tired or feel like crap or whatever, whereas on a stream it's all live, so you really can't do any editing. That's why I prefer to do this whenever with the work schedule that I have. Holy shit, that's a fucking curve of mania. Good lord. That's why I prefer to do editing and recording with the schedule I have is because one day I could be coming home at like 6 p.m. Next day I go on at 10 a.m. And then 10 to like, I don't know, 6 three or something and the next thing you know I'm in at 730 and the next thing you know I'm in at 3 to 915 and it's just like what the fuck so with the schedule I have it's just really hard to get it to actually get a uh, stream in because I have to go to bed and then wake up and then there's just no time and it's easier to just sit there and record than it is to actually just go out there and stream and you have to get everything set up for the stream whereas with editing there's really nothing to get set up and yeah yeah, that's why I don't stream. A lot of you guys might say differently. A lot of you guys might say it's easier to actually stream than record and edit. But to me, it's about the same time. Like, if I was doing this in a stream, it'd probably take about the same time to actually set it up. Whereas uploading it and whatnot is just a different story. But I kind of see where you guys are right at with streaming is easier. But to me, for my, like, personal opinion, it's just this is a lot more easier to do. And I could do this on like my own time, where streaming is kind of like you do it when you do it. Whereas this, you can record like four or five episodes in a day and just kind of edit them out on the days you need them, stuff like that. So that's why, to me, this is a lot more easier to do, which is why you see more videos than streams on the channel. But I am, I am, and I know I say this a lot. I am trying to actually get back into streaming. Good lord, this is a fucking curve of mania gonna say there's no should way you should be going 65 on that curve oh, it's a Tesla truck with the Volvo in front of it why don't they use a Tesla in front of it what the hell all right sorry about that I'm back now I had to go get my uh, pizza out of the oven but we're currently about 126 miles away we've kind of gone about 200 miles into this trip already to Pendleton with about 33 and a half thousand pounds of furniture going to the Walmart I would honestly think maybe like that much for their like general merchandise truck but of just furniture yeah this is a very very like hefty online order or something but 45 35 we're gonna start slowing down here don't want a ticket there we go Ooh, that trooper was like itching to give us a ticket I've never actually seen trash cans on the road before that's pretty cool but that's a uh, weird intersection. Weird. I like it. Okay, so we're making a left at this light, it looks like. Because I don't think we can actually go straight. Please don't change. Please don't change. I like how instead of it being a street sign, it just says Pendleton and it's going to change on us. Woo! Actually, I think we could probably just go. Bullshit. 
We were already in the intersection, so we should have just went. First Baptist Church, American Motel, open Wi-Fi, clean welcome. Interesting. Very interesting. Open Wi-Fi, clean welcome. But, uh, yeah, guys, I don't know if your guys' Walmarts actually have them, but, like, in the little deli section where they have, like, those uh, take-home and bake pizzas and whatnot, they actually have this nice, um, very, very delicious breakfast pizza that's got, like, um, cheese for a crust. It, or, not cheese for a crust, but it's got a crust. It's got cheese sauce on it. Uh, cheese, it's got sausage and bacon on it. It is freaking delicious. If you guys haven't tried it yet and you guys do have it at your Walmart, Go ahead and pick it up. It is a little bit on the pricey side. It's about like $8 for medium. But I would recommend it to anyone who enjoys breakfast pizza because it's fucking amazing. The worst part is, is I'm already fat. And I could sit there and eat the whole breakfast pizza in one setting. Which is probably not the best thing to do. But fuck, it's so good that I do it anyway. <laughs> but that's just, I don't know, that's just kind of how I am. Like those little like frozen Jack's pizzas that they have out. Those like little frozen Jack's ones. I can literally sit there and eat like one of them in a whole setting, sometimes even two. That's just kind of how I was back in high school. Like I'd probably eat a whole bag of pizza rolls in one setting. Um, I'd sit there and drink about maybe two or three cans of like pop a day. Usually Mountain Dew, sometimes I'll go something else like Dr. Pepper or whatnot. But Baja Blast is probably one of my favorite Mountain Dews out there. If you guys haven't known, Livewire and Baja Blast are like my two favorite. Then we got Voltage and then Whiteout. Um, regular Mountain Dew is probably fifth on the list. I think that's where we're at is five. And then Code Red was used to be my favorite. Used to be my favorite one back in the day when I was a kid. But I had just drank so much Code Red that I just don't really care for it anymore. But um if Livewire was out, if it wasn't like just summertime back when I was a kid, like it was out all the time, I'd probably be the same way with Livewire. But I love Livewire and Baja Blast, like my top two favorite Mountain Dews out there. But for you guys that actually do like Mountain Dew, there's actually two new Mountain Dews coming out this year. I'm um, talking to my Pepsi vendor. Um, we actually have a new one. Uh, it's called, I don't remember, he said it was Do Something. It's for the 4th of July. Kind of like how they did the Dew USA last year. But it's going to be something different. He says it's going to be out around, I think he said June-ish. March, May, June. One of those cups sometime in the upcoming next upcoming months. So I'm really excited to try that. And then um, he also said coming, I want to say, I think he said like September, October. It's going to be Mountain Dew Voodoo, which I'm assuming is like for something Halloween related. But it's going to be a clear Mountain Dew. Looks gonna, It's kind of going to look like Mountain Dew Ice, but it's not. And it's going to have 25 different flavors of Mountain Dew in it. So I'm kind of looking forward to that and seeing like how it's going to taste. He, he, ha, he has a guess about it going to be like some sort of citrusy type thing. I think it's either that one or the Dew. So one of them is going to have a citrusy type taste. So I'm really, really, really excited about that. But uh, yeah, if you guys like Mountain Dew, make sure you guys go check those out. Also, if you guys don't know, Baja Blast is here to stay finally. Um, their contract with Taco Bell is up, so Mountain Dew or PepsiCo can do whatever the hell they want with Baja Blast. So Baja Blast is in stores to stay if you guys do like Baja Blast. Um, there is actually a new Baja Blast coming out, which kind of defeats the purpose of it. Because... Everybody, whenever, everyone who buys Baja Blast, they buy it for the taste and the sugar because it just tastes so damn fucking good. But, they're coming out with a Baja Blast Zero, which is like the zero calorie, zero sugar version of it. Um, apparently it's going to be a Taco Bell exclusive, just how like regular, the regular Blast was. I'm not sure if that's 100% truthful or not, but, or 100% legit. I know he does, tells the truth all the time, but let's see legit or not. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but kind of want to try it, but then again, I kind of don't because, it, like I said, it really defeats the purpose of Baja Blast. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And then those uh, new game fuels that they have out are just freaking awesome. The blue one is kind of like my second favorite. The yellow one, the tropical one, is like my first favorite. 
The red one is third with the cherry. And then the fourth one, the green one, the charred dew, literally just tastes like Diet Mountain Dew to me. So that one's coming in fourth. I don't feel like that one's worth the uh, two dollars or whatever it is. Just to me, because I can go out and buy a bottle of Diet Mountain Dew and it'd be cheaper. It tastes the same. So I mean, to me, it's just not worth it. Just not worth it. But damn, we're taking the back roads here in Oregon, and I did not realize that these back roads are actually this fucking curvy. But we're actually coming up to the northern tip of Oregon. This is probably the first time we'll actually be up here in the uh, northern tip. So I'm very excited to actually take a look and see what it's like. And I've wanted to do this since Oregon came out, but I just never actually got around to doing it. So I'm actually really, really, really excited right now. We got trucks speeding up here. It's 55. We're going 45 because we are a truck and we're really completely top heavy as well. So. 35 mile an hour, or top light, I should say. I don't really know how they stack the uh, cargo back there, so. Really don't. This is a lot of curves. Holy shit. Holy, holy, holy crap. That, that scenery looks fucking nice, though. Good lord, that looks very, very nice. I like that a lot that down to a 35 uh, we should be going back up to 45 our destination should be coming up soon I want to say yeah our destination should be coming up soon what we got left about 26 miles left so yeah we're coming we should be coming up to it real soon next thing you know we're gonna have to back this puppy in yeah when we were coming out of FedEx there I don't kn not know that we were gonna be shoved in that little like cubby hole back there kind of suck but I don't know falling rock so that's definitely not a good sign I don't want no rock falling on my truck that is so not a good sign don't say that when I'm coming through almost there I see the flag I see the flag on the GPS we're almost gonna get paid that's cool a dump truck with the uh, dumper up that's a that's actually kind of cool we're about to be getting paid here. Our right, last couple little curves to go. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I'm trying not to flip the truck. Like we did in the first time in Oregon. <laughs> oh man. Looks like we're coming into Pendleton. There's a staples truck up ahead, I believe. Got cows. That's awesome. I've never actually seen cows in this game before. It's like a tiny little farm town. There's a John Deere right there. It's like a little uh, small hick town. I like it. I like it. I really do. You got the 35 coming up. Horses. Damn, this is actually very, very nice. Oregon did a very... They, they did a really nice touch with Oregon. I like this. I really do. I'm going to get back. We're going to get up in this lane here. I think we're making a right. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know. We're not going interstate, that's for sure. Got a little, like, mini mart here. Pawn shop, all that. That's pretty cool. Yep, staple truck going to Ontario, it looks like. I might do something else with this truck and try to take something up to Portland just so we can explore Portland. And I guarantee you there's going to be a garage up in Portland that we can store the truck and we'll just start our next episode out there. So if there's like a repair shop up here, then we'll uh, do something. We'll do some customization to this truck, give it a different paint scheme and whatnot. So, uh, so yeah. Oh, we're turning here actually. I did not realize that. We're turning here. I probably shouldn't have gone, but oh well. Oh well. I was too busy looking at the scenery to look at the uh, map. That's gonna, that's gonna. I would hate to do that because there's no stop sign in any of those intersections. There's the Wally World. Oh, we're coming into. Okay, okay, I see how it is. I see how it is. So we're gonna have to run all the way to the back, like normal supermarket. Welcome to the market. Welcome to the Wally World.
I got a cab over bringing in your trailer, folks. Got a cab over. It's like they got their uh, uh, market truck. Yep, they got their freezer truck in bay one, and then they have a general merchandise truck as well. Two, oh, and, and it looks like a short freezer truck, and they got their general like merchandise truck as well. Damn. I'm assuming what we're hauling is online orders to Walmart. And I guess they had a full uh, truck of online furniture orders, because I guess a lot of people are moving into this town. That's going to be my guesstimation. I really... I couldn't tell you why we have so much furniture going to Walmart. I'm trying to get a better view of lining up over here. Yeah, I really don't know why we have so much uh, furniture going to Walmart, but we do. I'm trying to get a better vantage point to line up the truck and the trailer. They put those damn fucking milk crates in my way. Prairie Farms was probably here and they just forgot to take them. I don't want to hit those goddamn milk crates. Okay, yeah, we do what that milk crate in the way, we definitely kind of fucked that up. So. Don't want to hit those damn things. Trying to line ourselves up here a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna have to go up farther a little bit more. Let's try it now. Yep, if we hit the milk crates, fuck it, I'm not too worried about it. They shouldn't have been there in the first place. They shouldn't have had me unload here and then they have those damn things in the way, so. We hit them, we hit them. It's not going to cause our trailer any damage. Yeah, but we kind of got ourselves in a, a bad situation here, so. I'm going to actually turn the truck around. I don't even know how they're going to deliver. Oh, okay, I see how. I see how. But we're getting there, we're getting there, slowly but surely. Had to go around those milk crates a little bit, but we finally got it. We're just dropping the trailer off, so there we go. Turn the engine off. And unload. Lakeview to Pendleton, excellent. 329 miles, 9 hours. Uh, we're on time, all that. We got trailer maneuvering bonus was 55 points. So we actually maneuvered it through the um, uh, milk crates, I believe that's what it was, with the curves. I don't know. I don't know, but we did get a bonus for long distance delivery. Which really wasn't that long of a distance, but I mean, we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. Eleven thousand four hundred sixty-three dollars, five hundred thirty-one points, all equals out to seventeen thousand two dollars and seven hundred eighteen XP, which ain't the worst, ain't the worst thing in the world. But that is gonna go ahead and do it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Hit that like button if you haven't already. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. Drop a comment down below if you guys want to or not. That's up to you. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter. Follow me on uh, Instagram. Join the Discord server as well. Hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Take care.